Now there's going to come times when you need to adjust the sizes of your databases. I want to show you how to do that. Notice in the sales database, if I want to adjust the size of these files, a couple of ways to do it. Now, if you'll remember from a previous video, if I want to make it larger or change the size, I can simply go to Properties, right-click, go to Properties, then go to Files, and notice the initial size. I can increase it to whatever I want, or I can type in here and make this database whatever size I want it to be. And then when I click OK, it will resize the database. Now, that's to make it larger. I can't go backwards there. I can't make it smaller. It might let you do it, but it won't make the change or, and it should after we get out of the uh, CTP version, the final release should give you an error message there when you try to shrink the database using that tool. So how do you shrink a database or file? Notice if I right click on the database name and then choose tasks. Now this becomes an important uh, choice in the pop-up menu there and I haven't mentioned it to this point. But notice with the tasks I can choose shrink and I have a choice here between database and files and I'll show you both of these so you know what they do. For now, for this time, let's choose database and so I want to shrink the database. Now what's happened is I created the database maybe a little larger than I thought or perhaps our needs changed and functionalities changed and so now the database Notice with this one, it's a bad example, but we've got 6 megabytes. We've got 3.84 megabytes of free space or 63% free space. Well, I can tell it to uh, simply shrink this database. And if I say OK now, it will shrink it and will take away as much uh, room as it possibly can. Notice it will collectively shrink all the database files and release unused space. Now, I can also tell it to reorganize the files before releasing unused space. And now this way I can tell it the maximum free space that I want after shrinking. So I can tell it, you know what, leave me 5% free space. And if I click OK, then it will take the action and it will happen. Now one thing you need to be aware about all the shrinking options, they don't exactly happen right away. You may see a little bit of a lag time before the shrinkage actually takes place. So now, also, now I've decided that I want to shrink and leave 5%. Notice the little script button up here. I can choose script action to new query window and you'll notice on my query window back here it shows me the shrink database command that it did to shrink this database and leave 5% free space in there after it's done. So I'll close this and I will go back to my shrink dialog box and I'll cancel this and I want to show you the other option. I right click on my database, choose tasks tell it to shrink. Now the files. Now what's the difference here? Well, when I shrunk at the database level, it takes all the database files together. There could be multiple data files and so forth, and it will grab all of those. Notice with this one, it's grabbing the data file on the primary file group, and it's saying that it has 5 megabytes. It has 72% free space. Notice my choices. I can release the unused space back to the operating system. This I can reorganize the pages before releasing unused space. This will actually give me more because it's more or less defragmenting the database before it gives the uh, space back. And then notice I can empty the file by migrating the data to other files in the same file group. I don't want to do that. That's a little bit more advanced. You can go read documentation on that. But notice again, I can script this out if I want to. I haven't shown you this at any point in the course yet. Notice I can script this action to the clipboard. So just simply script it to the clipboard. Open up Notepad at some point. Right click and paste and there's my command. So you can easily escape uh, the SQL environment here if you would like. So anyway, that is how to shrink these databases. Now obviously you can do this with Transact SQL and in the past it's the way a lot of people did it. But the way Microsoft has enhanced the uh, graphical user interface here, uh, I really like this better than the Transact SQL. You don't have any syntax issues. It's very graphical, very easy to understand what you're doing. So if you ever need to shrink your databases or your database files individually, you just saw how to do it.